Okay, uh, in this video we're going to do a little bit of work on this cylinder uh, just to make sure that it's got enough uh, vertices and faces uh, to work with so we can create this shape out of the airplane. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to rename my shape. I can spell it, I just can't say it. Plane body is what that says. Um, so that's job one. Now what we're going to do is work out sort of how many faces this needs. Now. To do that, we need to go into inputs, click on poly cylinder one, making sure you're on your channel box. Bop. There we go. Now you can see the subdivisions axis is set to 20, which means there are 20 faces going around this. Now I think that's a little bit too many for the complexity of the shape we're going for. It's not that difficult of a shape going around. So I think if we just change that to 12, and you can see that simplifies the shape somewhat. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide this shape down here, like chopping a sausage. Um, <coughs> To do that though, it takes a little bit of forward planning. Now, because we're going to extrude the wings out later, we've got to take that into account. So we're going to sort of slice this up kind of mentally and work out where they'd need to be or how many they'd need to be. So this is obviously that one there, so we don't need to count that. So we need at least one there for the start of this intake, two to, for the beginning of the wing, and if we say three for the edge of the intake, four for the beginning of the cockpit, five for the back of the wing, six here for where the cockpit kind of ends, um, and then we really need one next one down here I think which would be seven, and then one for the front of this back wing, eight, one for the back of the back wing, nine, um, and then to get this curve here you'd say maybe ten. Um, so maybe 10 will be alright. So we'll start with 10 on the subdivisions height then. Let's see what that looks like. So there we go, that's now subdivided the shape up so we should now have enough vertices in this shape to work with um, to create the plane we want. In the next step though, before we get onto that, we're going to look at cutting the shape in half so we only need to model half of the plane um, as it's symmetrical shape, so we only need to do half the work. So that'll be in the next video.